Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Star Flames in this video. Yes, it's time for us to talk about it. I've been seeing some comments in the comment section asking me, Star, aren't you gonna talk about Ye hiring the Jewish American Apparel founder Dove Charney? Aren't you gonna talk about that? Yes, guys, we're talking about it. But something caught my attention and as such I've been spending the past couple of hours researching. And when I say couple of hours, I mean like hours upon hours. I was looking for one thing and I couldn't find it. I was looking for the media to have the word disgrace, Jewish, American apparel founder, Dove Charney, in all previous reports up to this point. And before the article that came out yesterday by the sun dove charney has never ever been given the title of disgrace so that piqued my intention to say my attention and i have to say that know that dove charney appears to be joining easy for real seems as though they're coming with a new plot to go after him again. Now, the thing that happened is that Dove Charney, he worked with American Apparel. He has worked with so many brands, t-shirt. And let me tell you something. This man is darn good at what he does. Wherever he goes, he's like ye. Where, wherever he goes, that business registers growth. Whenever he leaves, that business falls from grace, end up in bankruptcy, and all that jazz. That's who Dove Charney is. Now, he was with American Apparel. They claim that, you know, his severance package was too huge. And, you know, there was a bunch of sexual assault, you know, harassment and all that jazz. You know, allegations against him. There was a bunch of case when... um he was supposed to get a lot of money. When I tell you hundreds of million, hundreds of millions from um, the American Apparel, right? So when they saw that his severance package was, you know, very humongous, they were like, oh, but we have a lot of complaints and we need to investigate them. So it's similar to what happened to you, right? Let me tell you, America has a problem. America definitely has a problem because what I discovered is that Dove Charney has never denied, you know, sexual encounter with any staff or model or anything like that. What he has denied is sexual harassment. He says that he sees absolutely nothing wrong if two people work at the same company and they want to be intimate once both parties are on board it's good but what american apparel is saying is that he took the company's money to give to these people you know he was paying some people more than what he should pay and that is because you know he was getting favors in return those are some of the allegations no i'm not saying that he's not guilty of any of the allegations that were brought against him but what I find interesting is that they could not prove not even one of the allegations that was brought against him. And for me, that is a red flag because how is it that you have so many people, you know, according to American Apparel at the time, that is claiming sexual harassment. Not one victim was named based on what my research. No one was able to provide any evidence and you know even though dove Chinese had settled some of these cases you know he had a lot of cases against him some he had to settle out of court some of them were totally dismissed but on what grounds it's really interesting how you know his case unfold but let's talk about what is happening now because now we're learning that he is the new CEO of Yeezy. And I believe that this report is 
factual because um, we know that Ye is looking to build his company and not just build his company. He, he is taking it beyond what it was before. And when you look at someone who can take a company from zero to a hundred, that's Ye and that's Dove Chiny. No one else in the business, based on my research, has ever recorded, you know, sales as Ye and Dove Chiny. When I tell you Dove Chiny is amazing at what he does, this man is impeccable at what he does. He knows his stuff. So expect the media to go after him now that he has partnered with Ye. And now we can see where he has officially gained the title of disgrace because of this, you know, alleged partnership. But let me tell you, if he is the CEO of Yeezy in terms of products, in terms of sales, in terms of quality, in terms of... um you know, creativity, he is definitely the man for the job. I can tell you that for a fact. Now, as it relates to what The Sun has reported, a lot of it I'm not going to talk about because you can tell that this article was um, someone had given some kind of instructions on how to proceed about this article. Why I say that is because the article starts off by talking about Ye being cancelled, losing billions of dollars and all of that. We all know that. We don't need to keep going back to that, right? And we know that the media keeps doing that. But when I see the sun, you know, did this, it's really telling you that something is going on here and you all need to pay attention on how the media is about to treat Dove Charney. Right now, they're saying that Charney is no stranger to being canceled as the Canadian entrepreneur and clothing manufacturer was fired by the board at American Apparel in 2014. Right, his career did not end there, as a matter of fact, his career hasn't ended. Now, they're saying that he was accused of a number of alleged um, failing failing, including misusing company money, violating the company's sexual harassment policy, and offering significant severance packages without board approval, right? How could he be offered that without board approval? Um, let's read some more from this article. They're saying that um, Charney said he wants everyone to know that he's not the sleaze king. That's what he told ABC News in an interview. He's saying that the sleaze king is another guy at the company, which is American Apparel. It wasn't him. He's saying all those accusations against me are crap. These allegations, we've resolved them. None of it. None of these allegations were ever proven, he said, explaining that some lawsuits were settled while others were dismissed. He has never been found to have committed sexual harassment. Now, the son is saying that despite this pass, Ye has hired Dove Chiny as the new CEO of Yeezy LLC. It is definitely a risky move with the allegations against him, but Ye supports him and know what it is like to be cancelled. Ye normally supports people who, you know, people try to come against cancel, tarnish their reputation. Because after the Kardashians came against Jordan Woods, Ye had Jordan Woods in his Yeezy campaign. You know, he's that type of guy. Once you have never been convicted of a crime, and once people try to, you know, cancel you, come against you, and try to ruin your name and reputation... He's going to look for you, he's going to hire you, and he's going to ensure that you're well paid. He did the same thing to Shakiri Richardson when she was found to be smoking pot 
and she was, you know, canceled from, you know, competing in the Olympics. He worked with Shakiri. That's the type of person that Ye is. He doesn't believe that, you know, if someone slips up, you should be cast away and tossed aside and everyone should come against you and gnash up on your flesh and treat you as though you're the worst. No, he believes that, especially if you are very talented, especially if you're ambitious, He's going to ensure that he finds you, he works with you, and he restores your glory the best way that he can. And I believe that this is why good things have, good things will always happen for you because he just, you know, he's very much forgiven, he's very kind. And when everyone sees things as, you know, being over and done, he's saying that this is just time for a beautiful start. A lot of people claims to be, you know, geniuses can actually learn something from him a lot of people who think they're smart and have things together they can actually learn quite a few from Ye. now they're saying that um continuing with the article they're saying that it is a risky move it's not a risky move because many company has hired dove charney and i believe that He's still linked to one famous um, American t-shirt brand as well, right? So I don't know what the heck they're talking about because, you know, I mean, I guess the media can come up with whatever they want to, how they see fit, right? Now, they're saying that Dove has been a friend, a fabric supplier. He's also produced t-shirt as well as mass production of the new Yeezy line. They're saying that he, he, he has also been actively attending Sunday service, not just today, for a long time, right? He has been attending Sunday service. Want me to tell you guys something? Ye has a lot of Jewish friends. Did I also tell you that Ye helped one particular guy to fight political anti-Semitism? Yes. Just before he got cancelled, he there's this Jewish guy. He sources designers. Ye bought a rare Birkin from him which he gifted to Cheney, you know, for her birthday after that entire incident. And when the guy saw what was happening to you, it was like, there's a bigger problem. There's political anti-Semitism. That is what truly affects people. And I'm going to invest my money to fight against political anti-Semitism. So this entire story that they have telling you people about you not liking Jewish people, you have to be truly dumb to believe it. Because this guy, yeah, he has a lot of Jewish friends, a lot of Jewish people in his circle, and many of them never cut ties with him. They still rock with him. Okay, but let's continue, right? Now, they're saying that, you know, this guy, Dove Charney, he has been a friend, a fabric supplier. He also produced t-shirts as well as mass production of New Yeezy line, which was unveiled recently at a low key event. He's been yes um he's been by yes side for years before he was cancelled throughout the drama and now after as he sets to stage a comeback. It is not confirmed whether Charney has formally signed a contract with Yeezy LLC and the Sun contacted him for a comment but they did not hear back. No one wants to talk to you, son. Stay out of people's face. And I don't blame this guy because if he answers, you guys would be twisting his words, you know? Now, they move on to talk about, you know, Charney. They're saying after Charney's earlier scandal, he subse subse subsequently uh, founded Los Angeles Apparel in 2016. And it reportedly grew to over 350 staff during the second year of operation. That's how good Charney is. Told you guys. The company has been a success and Charney is still listed as the senior partner on LinkedIn. Charney, who has been a regular at Kanye Sunday service event over the years, does not appear to be... Um, does not appear to be too concerned with his controversial opinions. He manufactured the White Lives Matter t-shirt that saw the beginning of Ye's recent downfall, which debuted, which was debuted at Paris Fashion Week. But despite his support, Rolling Stones claimed that Charlie later refused to release 
the shirts his company had made following the backlash and they were handed out to the homeless that's a lie right there it's not as if it's not charney who refuse it's the decision that both he and charney had decided on because we spoke about that now they're saying that ye and his associate and stylist ian connor who is also accused by several women of being a rapi st according to the outlet shared a video online of them being dumped on skid row right Should we talk about anything else? Should we talk about anything else? Because it's a lot going on in this article. They keep going back to, you know, what happened at the time. Charney spending a lot of time with Ye, you know, at his office next to the Adidas store and all of that jazz. We don't need to know about all of that because guess what? If this collaboration between Charney and Ye is going to happen, it's going to happen. And um, this is nothing new for Ye. This is not something that is out the box for him to do. Again, once a person does not have a criminal record, you know, he's in this sense. He will work with them. And I believe that Charney is the one who can definitely help to get Ye in the direction that he needs to be in. Providing that, Ye ensures that he protects himself this time around, ensure that all the necessary paperwork are included, and it includes him protecting, him protecting himself, his, companies, his company, and his designs. But outside of, guys, outside of that, guys, there's really nothing else I have to share in this video with you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are and my apologies for the background noise, okay? We'll see. We'll talk later on in some other videos about other stuff that are currently happening. Bye, guys.